Welcome to the wonderful world of Absence in the Riser. Heinrich Swallen here. What you just heard was a sawtooth treated by Absence Eat the Riser. And it just really has nothing to do with a sawtooth anymore in the end. But here's the proof. Here's the dry signal. Dry enough. And here comes the process signal. This uh, effect is obviously a very powerful transformation tool and it could just totally take a sound apart and turn it into something else. And basically it's a grain delay which we also know from many other software companies and for instance we have on Enabled Live. But this one has like a little twist here because it integrates this filter quantize section inside a filter and turns the grains into harmonic material. So the sound gets tuned to certain scales. But let me show you from scratch how I went about making this sound. Just to be sure I'm gonna turn on a new sound. Select a sawtooth. And then I'm going to go over to my effect and I'm going to choose the etherizer. The etherizer is also a delay effect, you know, you could have some echoes and stuff. But I'm not interested in that aspect, so I'm going to turn it all the way off. What really interests me here is how to control these grains. And first of all, there is a rate which determines how many grains get created per second. And actually, let me turn off the dry signal altogether. So we can see down here the grains. And actually what makes that even much more audible is the randomization of the pitch. Randomization means each grain will have a different pitch and this is actually what creates that cloud. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit here. This is like the master transpose so I get more of a range. All right, sounds kind of scary. Let's play around a little bit with the rate and see the different options seen here. Only fewer and fewer grains get created. You kind of hear them tumble through space and also the grain duration is very important you see these extended lines that's like sustaining the grains i'm gonna make them really short so now that's just kind of little blips play with the rate again anyway i like to have a certain amount of duration because of what I'm gonna do later I need more of a padded sound another parameter I would like to bring into play is the feedback feedback of course brings the outgoing signal back into the input and it creates more of a padded sound play a higher note okay gets a little bit more dramatic so 
That's kind of threatening, like some bees are attacking. Okay, so far it's it's pretty inharmonic and just sort of noisy and swirling around. Now I'm gonna turn on the filter and that's really gonna take it in a totally different direction. Bringing down the cutoff frequency. And you can see how the colors of the grains change. I like it a little bit on the dark side here. I'm gonna speed up the rate a little. So you can see the cutoff frequency is also randomized. If I take off that randomization. It sounds more like some wind, solar wind or something. It's a nice variable though. Obviously these are things that could be automated. Now really a very important parameter here, as is many times with um, subtractive synthesis and a cutoff frequency, is the um, Q or the resonance. See now the grains are starting to shine and sparkle. So I'm gonna speed them up a little. Okay I think this is kind of a basic uh, setting for me to move forward to the filter quantization and the filter quantization will change it one more time in a drastic way. Anyway, I like now you can hear the chords or the scales that are used to quantize the pitches of these grains. And we have a whole range of different scales available, like a whole tone scale. Or an octave, that's not, basically it's just doubling octaves. And then here we can transpose the whole thing. Let me go back to the major scale. Gonna space it out a little bit more. Slow it down. Okay, this is basically the idea. If you want to take it to another level, you can also add some LFO modulation to all these parameters and that would make these grains dance. You do it by bringing up the effect master time here and applying a certain amount of this sine wave this LFO modulation. This is being sent over here and now becomes available at these targets. For instance, the rate. Now you can see the rate is being modulated and various numbers of uh, rates get created 
more or less grains per second. And another destination could be, of course, the transposition here. Okay, this makes the sound pulsate a little bit. It could be really nice as well. Now there are many more possibilities, of course. But I'm gonna leave you with this and I hope you don't get totally lost in space. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.